I'll show you the areas I expect to have higher than normal rain totals in April and where the rain will fall over the weekend. Your forecast across the Caribbean of the Bahamas starts right now. This is Meteo Mundo. Hi friends, Rusty back here with you on this early Friday morning, April the 5th. I hope you're having a very nice start to your day. Coming at you early here, going to get you prepared for the weekend ahead as well. We're going to take a look at where I expect the rain to be over the weekend and into mid next week. We'll take a look at the winds because they're going to be freshening up in some areas and the temperatures across our area as well. Thank you so much for liking the video. The first thing I want to do here is take a look more at what I expect in your area for the rest of April. And the first thing I want to look at are going to be what we call the rain total anomalies over the next 30 days. It basically takes us into the first couple of days of May. But the big thing I want to highlight here across the Caribbean and the Bahamas is how much green and blue on this map that you see. Green and blue means wetter than normal conditions. Over the next 30 days, brown is dry. And it's only portions of, of the central Atlantic and maybe towards the ABC islands that are dry. Everyone else is expected to see above average rain totals over the next 30 days. When you get to the blues, including portions of the Honduras and Nicaragua and Panama and Costa Rica coastlines, potentially some of Jamaica, maybe some of Hispaniola, a lot of Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and a lot of the Leeward Islands as well, even down towards Trinidad and Tobago and the Windward Islands, a lot of lesser Antilles in general, you're looking at rainfall totals about 75 plus millimeters above average over the next 30 days. It's significant. That's what you see at the bottom of your screen, that legend. You get into the blues, you're at 50, but the brighter blues and kind of into that sky blue, you're 75 to 100 millimeters above normal over the next 30 days. Now, this is a look at the actual rainfall totals in millimeters expected. So you saw the what's above a number. Now you're looking at the true rain numbers and you're gonna see some areas that are gonna be above 100 millimeters. Again, your greens and your blues are the lower rain totals, you know, 15 to 25 millimeters. That would be the ABC islands, but there are some darker areas. If you look in the Dominican Republic, that's around 150 millimeters of rain through the end of the month. OK, so significant rain coming in relatively early in the year. Now, one of the things I mentioned in the last video was a lack of moisture, especially a big depth of moisture from the low levels to the upper levels of the atmosphere. We've just had some shallow moisture and lighter rain. We're going to see a big transition here for the rest of the month. And I think the second half of April is going to be very wet for a lot of you. And again, remember, goodbye El Nino. It is now officially done. We're seeing the cooler water really develop off the west coast of South America. So as we get towards the very end of April in early May, we have to start really keeping a much closer eye on potential tropical activity because La Nina produces less wind shear. We've already talked about how the ocean temperatures are in the mid summer values in some areas, nearly 30 degrees Celsius already. And then that lower wind shear and more moisture coming in will spell more opportunities. I know it's early in the year to talk about, but that's one of the scenarios. So again, I expect to be tracking much more rain here, especially the second half of April. So what does our weekend look like? Well, the first thing I want to start off with, if you don't mind, is to take a look at the winds. And as I do so, thank you for liking the video. If you're not a subscriber here at Media Mundo, click that subscribe button. You want these forecasts across the Caribbean and the Bahamas. So we're going to get into those easterlies picking up again. The winds are going to be fresher through the Lesser Antilles and a lot of the Caribbean. The ABC Islands are going to have some 30, 35 knot wind gusts from time to time. The purples and the pinks are areas of winds greater than 20 knots. Yet another mid-level low coming off the United States East Coast is gonna freshen the winds up for Bermuda. The winds have just been howling there. It will turn winds as we get into next week out of the Northeast for the Bahamas. The Bahamas finally starting to see the winds relax on this Friday morning after gale conditions the last couple of days there, but very strong easterly winds. So that will pull in more moisture from the Western Atlantic. It's still gonna drive some heat 
to portions of Central America. And again, if you don't see the rain with this wind direction, because again, it'll mainly be out of the east, it'll be fairly hot. Now you get towards Jamaica and maybe areas north and west, and at least for a time, a gentle northeast breeze might help to undercut the humidity just a bit outside. So let's look at the rain over the next five days. Now again, we had some decent showers and storms with the last cold front that has moved through the Bahamas. They are in store for some drier weather. We have seen good rain in places like Trinidad and Tobago the last several days. They will begin to dry out, but as those areas dry out just a bit, other areas will start to see some higher rainfall chances. And coming up, stick around, we're gonna take a look at the next three days, gonna break it down for a lot of the islands, rain chances day by day. But the first thing I wanna do right now is we're just gonna zoom in and talk about things here uh, and just let this model run. So for my friends in Trinidad and Tobago and Grenada, the Windward Islands in general, you've had some healthy rainfall, especially down in Trinidad the last several days. That will begin to break apart. I'm not gonna say it's gonna be completely dry, but the moisture will be a little bit more limited. So much more spotty or isolated showers. It's about a 20% chance each and every afternoon. It's the same thing for Barbados and St. Vincent and the Grenadines and St. Lucia and my friends in Martinique. We still are gonna pull in our easterly wind. We could see some shallow rain develop, but the weekend forecast overall looks just fine. You have any plans. I don't right now see any uh, surf or sea conditions that are gonna be of alarm might get a little bit choppy from time to time as the showers develop, but overall, we're looking pretty good. From Dominica North to Guadalupe and Montserrat, St. Kitts and Nevis, Antigua, Barbuda, and Guilla, we will start to see some rain coming back in early next week. Now, it doesn't mean we won't catch a couple of showers here over the weekend, but rain chances will begin to improve as we get towards, say, Tuesday, uh, Monday, Tuesday of next week. So again, uh, for the remainder of this Friday, we're gonna be dry. This is Saturday, again, relatively dry. Sunday looks pretty good as well. A couple of showers in Puerto Rico, we'll highlight that coming up. But then as we get into Monday the 8th, and then eventually on Tuesday, we'll start to see this sheer axis, this moisture line move in. And there's the opportunity for some rain. I'll see if it holds together. It may not be as prominent here. I mean, you're looking five days out. This might dissipate a bit, but again, a little bit better opportunity for some rain for Antigua and Barbuda and Saba and St. Martin and St. Bartholomew here. Let's say Tuesday, uh, Wednesday of next week. So I'll be watching that for you. There's Monday. Here comes Tuesday. And again, a couple more showers could be along for the ride on Wednesday as well. Now for the U.S. and British Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico, we are still seeing at least some late evening and overnight showers. It has dissipated some, but it also hasn't been completely dry. Now for your area, the rain chances will begin to come back up in general. Now, even you know tonight, Friday night and Saturday night, I can't rule out there being a few showers, but generally speaking, nothing is organized, nothing is very concentrated. So the weekend overall looks great and the, the daylight hours should be fine until Sunday where we will start to see a few showers pop up. And I mean, look, it may not be more than a couple showers there in the central sides of Puerto Rico for the heat of the day, but then as we get into Monday and into Tuesday as well, now wetter weather returns. This is Tuesday, uh, excuse me, Monday evening, and you can see that rain is relatively widespread. And I showed you that this is one of the areas that is forecast to have 75 to 100 millimeters above average rain for the rest of April. So we got to start getting wet if that's going to be the case. And then it looks to happen here as we get into early next week. It's the same scenario for the Dominican Republic. The Dominican Republic actually is the area that is highlighted to have the most rain above average for the rest of April up to 150 millimeters in some spots above average. After a relatively dry Friday and into early Saturday, rain chances really begin to ramp up starting on Sunday through early in the week. So for my friends in Santo Domingo and Punta Cana, on over towards even Lakai there in uh, Haiti, the opportunity for some scattered rain. Again, I would expect a dry Friday for today, spotty showers coming in on Saturday afternoon, we're gonna ramp up the rain chance on Sunday to about 60%, and then even into Monday morning, look at the rain coming in and sticking around the island during the day on Monday, and then ramping right back up on Tuesday. So we start to get into a wetter pattern here, and of course, it's gonna be pretty steepy out there, and we'll take a look at the potential rainfall totals coming up 
as well. For my friends in Jamaica, hey, we're going to have at least a few showers. Again, it's not going to be as much rain as Puerto Rico or the Dominican Republic, but we are going to see more moisture begin to return. Now, again, I don't expect a lot of rain for the rest of this Friday. An isolated shower is possible. If you catch one of those, let me know in the comments section below. Again, steamy in places like Kingston, trying to get above 90 degrees there, Fahrenheit above 30 degrees Celsius in some spots. As we get into Monday, that's when that rain tries to return. And there you can see Tuesday looks to be a little bit wetter as well. So rain chances will begin to improve as those easterlies really kick back in. It'll be about the same thing for my friends in the Cayman Islands. Again, a little bit spottier in nature the next couple of days. A little bit more moisture to play with overall as we get into the 8th and the 9th on a Monday and Tuesday and more showers will arrive. Now, one area here that actually shall have some healthy rain chances uh, starting this uh, morning and into the afternoon hours is going to be places like Belize, coastal Guatemala, Honduras towards Roatan. Nice little moisture axis in play here. This could actually be mainly morning rain and then sun returning into the afternoon hours. But this should, if nothing else, bring some morning clouds, help to cool things down a bit because of that as well. So morning showers on this Friday possible, more morning showers along the immediate coastline for Saturday. Sunday, it gets a little bit drier. And then I'm still gonna keep a rain chance in for Belize City into Monday and Tuesday. I don't think it's gonna be very much rain, but again, maybe some morning showers help to try and cool things off a little bit. And if we can sneak some of that rain inland towards San Ignacio and Orange Walk, that wouldn't be a horrible thing as well. Cancun, we'll see a few showers if maybe you have some vacation plans in that area. I expect that rain to also begin to return early next week. Uh, it's not gonna be as prominent, uh, spotty, many dry hours and locations there around the Yucatan, but something to monitor. You get the idea that a lot of what I'm saying is turning wetter, and that is going to generally be the case, again, for all of the Caribbean of the Bahamas, really as we stretch it to mid-April and then and beyond. Now, for the Bahamas, one area that I expect to mainly be dry over the next three days, maybe a couple of showers early next week, but as we get into Monday and Tuesday, besides a couple of light showers returning, it's actually going to be a beautiful forecast in that area. Let's take a look at the total precipitation. And as we do so, again, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, do me a big favor, click it right now. Thanks for the thumbs up for the video as well. And of course, if you have a specific question about the forecast, drop in the comment section below. I'm absolutely happy to answer it. So what we're taking a look at here are the rain totals over the next five days through Tuesday evening at 8 p.m. The blues are going to be your lighter rainfall totals, less than an inch of rain. We get into the pinks and the purples, and that's where we start to see those bullseyes of rain. And here you go for the Dominican Republic. Soar towards Santo Domingo, maybe around an inch of rain, but as you get inland, now we're peaking well above two inches of rain in a nice little bullseye, close towards Santiago de los Caballeros, and then on over towards Samana there along the coastline. But just solid rainfall totals in this area. Punta Cana, maybe a little bit less than that, but you know, the heavier rain could shift west or east a little bit in the island. Overall, Hispaniola could be relatively wet and even portions kind of right there along the Dominican Republic and then Haiti uh, border and then off towards the Haitian coastline. Again, one and a half, two inches of rain. Lakai, nice little bullseye there, maybe an inch of rain. Even Port-au-Prince could get into the act and get a few showers out of it. But the Dominican Republic, Hispaniola overall, one of the areas that could be wetter. I mentioned interior sides of Puerto Rico. I'll keep an eye on that in between Ponce and San Juan, south and east of Arecibo there, maybe over an inch of rain. If it falls fast enough, some isolated quick flash flooding is possible. And then again, you just see through the uh, Virgin Islands here, let me zoom back in a little bit. My friends in St. Croix, half inch of rain. St. Thomas, St. John, half inch of rain. Tortola, Rowtown, half inch of rain. Pretty widespread half inch rainfall totals. That'll stick around towards Anguilla. And then it falls off a little bit as you get off towards the south. I mentioned that again, we're not going to have as much rain for the rest of the islands. Barbados, a uh, tenth, maybe a quarter of an inch of rain. Same thing for Trinidad and Tobago. I haven't mentioned the ABC Islands much 
in the rain department because you guys are going to be dry. And again, the ABC Islands is one of the only areas expected to have lower than normal rain for the rest of April. For my friends in Belize, again, coastal areas, solidly above an inch of rain in most spots, even inland, <laughs> we're trying to sneak in a little bit of rain as far west as San Ignacio. But relatively speaking, we're starting to get into a wetter pattern overall here. Look at all of that heavier rain possible for portions of Central America down towards Panama City. One last thing I want to do here real quickly. I tell you what, let's do this. Let's take a look at the rain chances, then we'll look at temperatures for this afternoon. So kind of want to put all the rain together in one spot. So for the Bahamas, it's beautiful for the rest of the week, and I'm talking about uh, from Nassau all the way down to the Turks and Caicos, really, up towards Freeport and Lucaya. Belize City, decent showers this morning. Lower rain chances Saturday and Sunday morning, but the chance will still be there. My friends in Jamaica, about a 30% chance for rain today and tomorrow afternoons, even a little bit lower on Sunday. I'm hoping the rain chance goes up starting on Monday. The Dominican Republic will actually be dry for this Friday, but here come the rain chances ramping up in a hurry. 30% chance on Saturday, up to a 60% chance on our Sunday. For Barbados and Trinidad and Tobago, a few spotty showers are possible. If you catch a shower over the next three days, that's probably better than most because I think a lot of areas will see dry conditions right on through Sunday. Then for Puerto Rico and the British and the British and U.S. Virgin Islands, I put in a 20% chance for showers. It might be a little bit higher on Sunday in a couple of spots in Puerto Rico. So I'll be monitoring that situation for you. And again, some interior locations could actually have some wetter weather. Okay, so where can you follow us on the old social media? We're on Instagram, TikTok, X, Facebook. We have an email address. You want to send me a picture or video, mymediamundo at gmail.com. Now, before we get out of here, I promised you a look at the temperatures. So I am going to deliver. I promise you that. Let me switch over to our temperature map here. And then let me get into this afternoon. And we'll do that right here. We'll say 2 o'clock. That's pretty good. So what are the temperatures going to look like? I did want to, again, point out what's happening in Belize. Now, I do expect there to be a little bit cooler air. You can see that. And again, especially along the coast, look at, look at what the early morning clouds and rain does. We might try and hold into the lower 80s in a couple of spots. I'm not, I mean, that would have to almost be some rain at two o'clock in Belize City to be in the upper 70s. But you get the idea that we might be a little bit cooler in these areas. That would be great news. It's been piping hot. For my friends in Jamaica, again, right along the immediate coast, now we're into that 90 degree plus, you know, 31, 32 degrees Celsius in some areas. It's going to be steaming on the southeast side of the island. It will be cooler the farther northwest that you go. Montego Bay and Negril will have a much more comfortable afternoon compared to Kingston. Uh, because of the drier conditions in the Dominican Republic before the rain moves in, again, inland locations, mid-90s, much more pleasant in Santo Domingo and Punta Cana there along the immediate coast. Although, you know, again, you're just inland of Punta Cana and you're around 91, 92 degrees. My friends in San Juan, about 88, 89 for a daytime high. That's very typical. Pretty lovely weather here uh, through portions of the islands. Uh, again, just very area specific, but low to mid 80s in a lot of spots. It should start to warm up again in places like Trinidad as we start to dry out. You've enjoyed more comfortable afternoons because of the rain developing, but now, you know, upper 80s, and it wouldn't shock me if we're going to get into some lower 90s. Speaking of some heat here, you know, despite the fact that we have drier weather, in the ABC Islands, the model is actually not picking up on a tremendously hot forecast. Thankfully, because of the wind direction there, should be a little bit drier. And then we'll wrap it up for my friends in the Bahamas. Again, some exceptionally gorgeous weather. I don't know if it's going to be, you know, this chilly. Come on, are we really, I mean, you know, 75, 76, uh, you know. I think we might be a, a little bit warmer than that. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm switching to 5 o'clock because I want to see if it warms up a little bit. Don't get me wrong. I think the 70s are going to be there. But if you can stay in the lower 70s in Grand Bahama this afternoon, chef's kiss. Enjoy it. All right, friends, that's it. Thank you so much for tuning in on this early Friday morning. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you for liking and subscribing. And I'll see you soon right here at Media Mundo.